Hello football fans and welcome to TD Place live in Ottawa between uh, Ottawa U and Carleton as we bring you the 52nd annual Panda game this year. Uh, as Van Conant will hand the ball off to Nathan Carter, he'll go on the right side, he's got a lot of room, he's headed to the sideline, he's going to cut back inside and he'll be taken just before the 55 yard line. So hand the ball off to Carter once again, he'll make his way up to the right side, he's got plenty of room and he's got a first down and more. Another great run play from the uh, from Nathan Carter and great push and great play calling from the Carlton Ravens so far to establish this drive. And I'm not Menzo when it comes to math or anything, Alex, but I would assume that that is now uh, more than 35 yards he's got on the day. He would be Carlton's all-time career rushing leader. Nice. So congratulations to Nathan Carter. And they'll hand the ball off to Carter and he'll cut up on the right side. He's got room. He can walk it in. Touchdown, Ravens. What a way to cap off a record-setting drive for Nathan Carter. Congratulations. What a career he's had so far. He's had a tremendous career, and he's only two touchdowns now off the record for all-time touchdown leader. Rackle is going to throw deep once again. He has a man open, and it is caught. Massive gain there. That's number 14, Daniel Olejo, with the reception. The kick is good, so Gigi's will get on the board with three. Let's play action. And he's going to be wrapped up and sacked. That's number 96, Sandor Maud with the sack. Great pressure from the Ravens' defensive line. This will be second and six for the Gigi's. And Rocco looking to pass once again. He's going to take a shot deep downfield. He has a man wide open. It is caught in the open field. He'll make his way down to the sideline. He's running. He could be going. It's a foot race, and he'll be walking into the end zone. Touchdown for the Gigi's. Number 15, Tristan Park with the reception and the touchdown. And Ottawa U will take a 9-7 lead late halfway through the second quarter. Goes to show the kind of player he was. As Miracle's taking a shot deep downfield and it's caught again by number 9, Rodney Esme. And that's a huge gain for the, for the GGs. So a 30-yard reception for Esme and it'll set up the GGs offense right at the 32-yard line. With Good job getting that, that foot inbounds. Rackle drop back, looking to pass. He's got all time. He's going to run. Dumps it off, and that's picked off. Picked off by the Ravens' defense. There's Joseph Medley on the interception. It was The flag was a, uh, a holding infraction on the, the GG's offense. So the Ravens will scrimmage from their nine-yard line heading out. And he'll hand the ball off to Ferguson. He'll make his way up the middle. Solid first gain for Ferguson. He's got first down and more. Well, that's one way to get out of a hole. Just hand the ball off to Ferguson and send him up the middle. Well, they've got that big offensive line, and they've just got to go straight forward, play north-south football, open some big holes. Dolphins with Rinaldis as they're going to fake the jet sweep to Ferdinand, and Rinaldis is going to take it up the middle. He's going to cut to the outside. He's got a first down and more. Taken out at the 50. That's a great gain for Rinaldis and a first down for Carlton. That's a tremendous read by Rinaldis to keep the ball off that mesh. Kick is up. It is good. So the GGs will take a 15-7 lead over Carlton here with three seconds left to go in the third quarter. They did a great job. Simon Kind is their, their best recruit. As Campbell Fair punts this to the wide side, and that's touched by Ferdinand in the end zone. He's trying to make his escape, and he'll be tackled down. And that'll go for the... Canadian special, the Rouge, the one point. And the Chiefs will get one point from that great kick from Campbell Fair. He's going to hand the ball off to Nathan Carter on the right side. He's got a first down and so much more. He'll be taken down by James Peter just on the other side of the 55. Second and 11 for the Ravens offense with Van Conan under center. As he's going to do a play action, looking deep. He has a man open in the corner of the end zone. It's Johnson. It's caught. Touchdown, Ravens. Great play action pass from Van Conant to Johnson. Hauls in the touchdown, and now it's a, it's a one-point game or a two-point game for the Ravens. That was a fantastic read by Van Conant. Shooting crew, I don't think they have the moves to be NSYNC or Backstreet Boys level. As they'll sing out, swing the pass out to the right side, and he has enough of the first down, but he fumbles the football, and the Ravens are on top of it. Huge play for not as that is taken away by the Ravens' defense, and Carlton's going to go back on offense. Because that was number 14, L. James Wimudu with the uh, fumble recovery. As Walker is awaiting the punt from Plouffe. 
side spiraling kick over to the field side. And Walker will take it off of bounce as it'll go through his legs. That ball's on the turf. Who comes up with it? But did he touch it? No flag, and they're it. indicating that it's Ravens football. Ravens will take over at the Ottawa U 30-yard line. This Forcier lines up for the field goal. Ottawa U crowd really giving it to him, just trying to get it in his head. Kick is up. And it is good. The Ravens will take the lead by one point. It'll be 17-16 in favor of the Ravens with 3.53 left to go in the fourth quarter. That's a huge kick by Forcier. Celebrate. Well, play action. Mahler's going to roll to his right, looking to pass. Keeping his eyes downfield. He's a man wide open. in the. <laughs> He's caught at the 40, out of bounds. It's number 14, Daniel Odalejo once again. Jonathan Edward is back for the Ravens. His job is going to be to get the ball out of the end zone if the field goal is missed because that point can tie the game up. There's a snap. Kick is up. And it is good. Great kick from Campbell Fair. And the GGs take the lead with a minute to go in the fourth quarter. What a fantastic job by Fair on that field goal. Plenty of room with it. Conan looking to pass, looking to hit the deep out, and that is dropped. The Ravens will turn the ball over on downs. GG's will take over with 17 seconds, and they can knee this one away. And with that, Mahler will take a knee. Ottawa U GG's will over. win 19-17, and, and Pedro is the, staying with them. Here comes the avalanche of fans onto the field. And, and regardless who wins, that's always such an amazing sight to see is all the fans pouring out in the field just supporting their school and and it's just a great experience every year. And you can't say it enough for Ottawa U. I mean, an emotional win, especially with the ceremony for uh, Francis Perron before the game and, and uh, um, you know, a big celebration for Ottawa U. Well, Absolutely, and that'll do it for us here at TD Place. Uh, I'm Alex Atina, joined alongside Jeff Morris, and we'll see you next time.